Imagine living your entire life in pain, struggling with your inner demons, only to become one of the most celebrated artists after your death. This is the tragic and inspiring story of Vincent van Gogh. Vincent Willem van Gogh was born on March 30, 1853, in the small Dutch village of Zundert. The eldest of six children, he was born into a religious family. His father was a minister, and his mother was the daughter of a bookseller. As a young child, Vincent was a quiet and serious boy, with a deep love for nature. He enjoyed long walks in the countryside, sketching the landscapes he encountered. But it wasn't until his twenties that he began to take art more seriously. Van Gogh's first job was at the art dealer's Goupil and C in The Hague, where he learned about the art trade and was exposed to the works of the great masters. His passion for art grew, but so did his disillusionment with the commercial art world. This eventually led him to pursue a career as an artist. Vincent van Gogh's artistic style evolved throughout his life. He began with somber, dark tones, as seen in The Potato Eaters, his first major work. However, it was during his time in Paris that he was inspired by the Impressionist movement and began to use brighter colors and more expressive brush strokes. It wasn't until he moved to Arles, in the south of France, that Van Gogh's signature style truly emerged. His most famous works, such as Sunflowers, Starry Night, and Café Terrace at Night, were all created during this period. Sunflowers, one of his most iconic works, is a series of still-life paintings depicting vibrant yellow sunflowers in full bloom. The bold colors and thick brush strokes capture the beauty and vitality of the flowers. Starry Night, perhaps his most well-known piece, is a mesmerizing painting that captures the swirling night sky over the quiet village of saint Remy de provence The work is a testament to Van Gogh's ability to portray the world in a unique and powerful way, turning ordinary scenes into extraordinary masterpieces. Vincent Van Gogh's life was not without its share of turbulence. His relationships were often tumultuous, and he struggled with mental health issues throughout his life. The most infamous event in his life took place on December 23, 1888. At the time, Van Gogh was living in Arles with fellow artist Paul Gauguin. The two had a turbulent friendship, often clashing over artistic differences and personal issues. In the heat of one argument, Van Gogh threatened Gauguin with a razor. Later that evening, in a fit of madness, Vincent cut off his own earlobe. He then wrapped the severed ear in a cloth and presented it to a woman at a nearby brothel, who fainted at the sight. Van Gogh was subsequently hospitalized, and Gauguin left Arles soon after. Tragically, Vincent van Gogh's life was cut short. He struggled with his mental health, and on July 29, 1890, he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound at the age of 37. During his lifetime, he sold only one painting, The Red Vineyard, and was largely unknown as an artist. However, his legacy would grow exponentially after his death. Thanks to the tireless efforts of his sister-in-law, Johanna van Gogh Bonger, who promoted his work and organized exhibitions, Vincent's art began to gain recognition. Today, Vincent van Gogh is considered one of the most influential painters in Western art history. His vivid colors, expressive brushwork, and ability to convey emotion through his art have inspired generations of artists. His life, marked by passion, pain, and artistic genius, serves as a powerful reminder that even in the darkest of times, beauty and hope can be found. Vincent van Gogh's story is a testament to the power of art to transcend personal struggles and touch the lives of millions. Although his life was filled with pain, his art will continue to inspire and captivate for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Vincent van Gogh. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from art history.